Total debt stock variously issued to federal governments of Nigeria via financial market dealer dealers quotes, which is FMDQ, was stated at about 13 trillion, 13 trillion naira. And this was far in excess of its balance sheet size. For instance, the following ratios as at December 2020 show areas for due diligence. A. 13, bill, 13 trillion debt issued by FMDQ to government is 95.5% okay, of total bonds while non-governments are about 5.5%. This confirms federal government as the easiest source of laundering CBN slush funds as debt stock. B, however, FMDQ own fund on the portfolio, FMDQ's own fund on the portfolio is just about 0.4%. Hence, the need to review the source of CBN funds recycled into federal government. Debt. Debt. Desperation of CBN to cover up stamp duties, stamp duties revenue. In line with Section 3, Subsection 2 of Stamp Duties Act, Finance Minister has not reported the copyrighted copy, copyright holders' invoice of 89.1 trillion naira to 36 states governors for over one year. While CBN governor refused to transfer the unremitted stamp duties from its private investors account into stamp duties central account for the monitoring convenience of Mr. President as ordered. Private investor, investors account on foreign exchange was opened by CBN in April 2017 and then funded from CBN Circular of April, April 2017. Even EFCC that SBH approached for support on the 31st of May 2021 has not disclosed its investigation outcome on the accounts publicly. On the accounts publicly who forwarded a report on the balances to Mr. President for over a year, EFCC. Furthermore, stamp duties revenue accruing to federal government is still growing at an astronomical rate. And this is quite evident from the latest NIPS statistics that reported e-transactions at 117 trillion naira in just four months of 2022 alone. And by conservative estimates, this could reach over 400 trillion by the year by year end. It must be noted that NIPS is just one of 15 other switchers switches whose records have not been captured by copyright holder, and the CBN is jealously guarding the huge revenue that is above oil from government. By a careful extension of its deadly plan, the five-year national development goals of 350 trillion submitted by the finance minister has sold Nigerian assets at 86% to private sector, while only 14% is retained for the federal government. A case of modern-day slavery that blocks genuine federal government revenue from the goals. But the credit illegally diverted funds by private sector to increase public suffering for 30 years up. Emergence of the Presidential Committee. Given the contributory negligence of the three tiers of federal government to the monumental revenue fraud from C the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. President approved all uh, approved an all-inclusive inclusive presidential committee comprising of 
executive, judiciary, and legislature for a final solution to the revenue that is scattered in nine post Federal Inland Revenue Service Service Attorney General uh, Attorney General's Office, as well as EFCC uh, EFCC's accounts into stamp duties central account. <laughs> 